Greetings and welcome. My name is Benevolent Bodhi. This is Welcome to Tamriel. In this video, we look at the lock picking system of the Elder Scrolls Online. Let's look at the lock picking user interface. The lock picking mini game consists of moving the lock pick left and right and then depressing tumblers to unlock the lock. The screen provides some useful information. For example, it will display how many lockpicks you have in your inventory. If you are successful, you do not use up your lockpick. The difficulty of the lock is also shown. It can be either trivial, simple, intermediate, advanced, or master. The lockpicking minigame is a timed challenge. The time limit will be based on the difficulty of the lock. If you don't want to pick the lock, you can try to force it. Your chance of being successful is shown. You can improve your chances by investing in the locksmith skill. This passive is found in the Leisure Demand skill line. Let's look at the mechanics of the minigame. To be successful, you need to become familiar with what I call the unlocking zone. Within this zone, you will find the solution for each tumbler. The first possible setting is the high level. The high level is shown here. If your lockpick hasn't wiggled yet, then it wasn't the highest level. Next, the medium level. If you made it to the low level, get ready to stop because there's a good chance you're going to break your lockpick. Alright, let's see a demonstration of the lockpicking game in action. In this demo, we'll be attempting the hardest lock possible. That is a master level. You're going to move the pick left and right, depress. As soon as the tumbler starts to wiggle, you stop. Okay, that was pretty quick, so let's look at it in slow motion. The first tumbler made it to the lowest level. The second tumbler starts to shake immediately, so it's an example of the high level. The third one doesn't shake, so it's also an example of the low level. The fourth tumbler starts to shake after we enter the unlocking zone, so it's a good example of the medium level. The final tumbler doesn't shake, so it's also at the low level. Next, let's look at ways of improving your loot from the chests and safe boxes. One way to improve the loot is through the championship points. Spending 10 points in the Shadow Tree will unlock the Shadow Seeker passive. This passive will allow you to get 50% more gold from your chests and safe boxes. Spending 75 points in the Shadow Tree will unlock the Treasure Hunter passive. It is believed that this passive will increase the quality of jewelry from domains and the quality of items from treasure map chests. While the championship perks are nice, the best way to increase your loot is to maximize your Leisure Demand skill line found in the world section of the skills UI. The higher your leisure domain rank, the higher the drop rates will be for green, blue, and purple quality items. Also, you're looking at an approximately 60% increase in gold per container on average. I hope you've enjoyed this guide. If you're looking for more detailed information on lockpicking, I suggest you check out my article on my website at benevolentbody.ca. Thanks for watching. Didn't take notes? You can catch him at my website at benevolentbody.ca. Like the video? Please smash the like button and enter your comments below. Till next time, see you in Tamriel.